Welcome back. They once served their country with pride, but now they're behind bars. They're part of a population of incarcerated veterans for whom the battle against their personal demons has never ended. But this time, getting locked up could be the second chance they need and deserve. It's a special story. The news today, ABC's Anya Tucker has been dedicated to covering at the Albany County Jail. Anya joins us live in studio with the details. Hi, Anya. Hi, John. It's a boot camp that is very different from the one these veterans endured years ago. Inside the Albany County Jail is a first-of-its-kind program, vets living with other vets, inside of a special pod within the Albany County Jail. It is called Soldier On. The goal here, to restore the lives of homeless and at-risk veterans so they never return to a life behind bars. They once served their country with pride. They now wear uniforms, but they are certainly not military issue. There are no barracks, just cells. Once you go to jail or prison or whatever, you get erased. Nobody cares. And it's easy to believe that no one would ever care. But redemption for these former soldiers is being found. Right here at the Albany County Jail in a first-of-its-kind program called Soldier On. Well, what can we work on while we're here, while we're incarcerated, to help us cope when we're released? I needed to reach out for help, and I just didn't didn't do it. There's no one to blame for my situation or why I'm here than myself. I heard my brother back there say, I ain't coming back. That's a good thing. But then tell me what are the steps you now are now going to work on and you're going to implement in your life so you don't come back. That's Jack Downey, the CEO of the nonprofit veteran support organization Soldier On. Are you a veteran yourself? No, I'm not. But Downing says he learned a lot about veterans when he took over as director of a homeless shelter in 2006. And what hit me was every man and woman in my care said they would die for me when they put on the American military uniform. And I was running a facility that was really a beautiful shelter, but I thought it was all right for the people who said they would die for me to wear used clothing, to stand in line for meals, Okay, and to be grateful for that. And I said, this is unacceptable. You were very emotional about it. I really believe love is the ultimate power in life. He doesn't talk it, he walks it and talks it. Sheriff Craig Apple asked Jack to extend his Soldier On program to the jail this past fall. We had nothing to lose. We had no financial investment here. All we needed to do was provide inmates and staff, and he was providing everything else. But is it working? Apple says he wasn't sure himself until this past Christmas when the veteran inmates read him this letter of apology. We apologize for the chaos and the crimes that we caused. Um, we're sincerely sorry and everything else. And I'm sat there like, this is working. That was genuine for sure. David Banks is one of those veterans who signed that letter during his 30-day stint. I had become jobless, hopeless, and homeless. The Navy veteran says he would have gone right back to drugs upon his release, but instead he received a call from his soldier on caseworkers. They came to pick you up. They came to pick me up. That night I was I would have been going on a binge if they didn't come to pick me up. These are the accommodations. He is now living at one of Soldier On's facilities in Leeds, Massachusetts. Yeah, this is boot camp definitely for life. Back to our exercise program here at Soldier On. That boot camp for life. Use the stairs. Very different from the one he endured while serving in the Navy. Let me see if there's a case manager around that we can get to so we can get him some help. He even works here, oh, God, assisting no. other veterans, no. helping to bring no. Jack's mission. We'll be successful the Soldier On mission, full circle. <laughs> wow. Wow, and that mission really looks like it is working, especially when you look at the numbers. The sheriff tells me out of the 75 inmates who have gone through mm -hmm. this program since it began in September, only one, one inmate has That's returned. That's a success rate. That's amazing. That's yeah. what he said, and it sure sounds like it. Does it cost money? How does it get funded? Well, actually, this is a federally funded program Part of it in Massachusetts is paid by the state of Massachusetts, but here in New York, it's totally free for Albany County wow. taxpayers. Mm -hmm. All that the sheriff needs to do is provide the room and the inmates. And, the, and even if it did cost a lot of money, the, what it costs to keep them behind bars costs so much more. Right, right, right. And Jack said that this is really getting a lot of notice from jails all across the country. He's getting a lot of 
very interested phone calls. Soldier On does so much for veterans, mm -hmm. including moving them from homelessness to home ownership. We just couldn't pack it all into this one story. So if you want to know more about all the work they do, you can head to our website at news10.com. We have provided a link for you. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much, nice Anya. Story.